everyone, I'm Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware, and welcome to Brent's Hang. This is our first episode of our weekly web series that we will be doing, and right now we're at NAMM 2013. So we've got a lot of cool products to show you guys, and uh, we'll also be giving interviews to all our Gibraltar Hardware artists that stop by. So check it out. Hey everyone, I'm here with Glenn Sobel from Alice Cooper, Michael Miller, drum tech for Alice Cooper, and um, they're here hanging at NAMM 2013. So um, you guys, tell me what do you look for when you come visit NAMM? Companies have to do their best to make their stuff pop so you'll notice it, and that's what I like to look for is the interesting creative ways that they're showing off their gear. And hopefully they got something to back that up as in a good product that actually is worth the hype. Michael, what, uh, what is it that you look for when you come to when you come to these shows? It's all about the new products and the new gear. Come to hang out with Brent, see our friends, oh, yeah, see the new products, physically hold the products and see how they work. Brent was telling me about some new pedals that you have. Save the pedal. Pedal's looking good. Everybody's saying it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What, so give me one of the features that you really like about the pedal. It seems like there's a lot of cool features. The quick release, the hoop clamp, the, the weighted beater, but I like there's a, uh, it seems like a really solid way of affecting the eccentricity of the cam. It doesn't, it's not one of these things where you're relying on friction from something that you're cranking down with a drum key. That looks pretty cool to me. I like that. My favorite feature on this pedal is the weights. The mallet has three weights in it and they're all magnetic. Ah. It's finally here. Like you play barefoot, right? I do, and I love, I love that it's a smooth pedal. I like the logo too. I really dig the logo. That's cool. <laughs> I like the vintage, the vintage look of it, and it's, yeah, playing barefoot. Some pedals I use, it really cuts up the bottom of my foot. Do not need a drum key anymore to tie it into the bass drum. Which thank you very much for doing that, because I always lose the drum keys. So as you can see. That's how you attach the pedal to the bass drum. I mean, it's just so adjustable, smooth, and responsive, and it's just, man, it's badass, and it's great for the music we play. So, yeah, I've taken this with me. <laughs> also got a real simple design where it looks like it's hard for the spring to get damaged because it's, it's in this uh, apartment here. So, I love simplicity when it works and it just feels right. And, this looks like the, the perfect tool for me, so. Oh man, this pedal in particular is uh, really got me stoked. It's got a bunch of new features that none of my pedals I have have, uh, including we have a removable weights in the beater. They're magnets, so you won't ever lose them. So that's great. Wait, here we go, back right here. We got the easy on the kick drum application right here. So you just put it on the kick, Tighten that until you're good and ready to play it. And uh, yeah, the pedal feels great. It has a lot of snap. It looks cool. It has my favorite letter on it. <laughs> we got the new cam system here. It's on the backside, like, you know, for you said more throw, right? Right. It's actually in that position right now. Right. So you get, you get more throw. Now, how would you explain more throw? Well, like the cam is positioned further forward. The chain is jacked further forward so it pulls the beater yeah. faster yeah. and if you want it more relaxed you know you slide the cam back and it's a little more fluid feeling you know yeah. it's sexy this is sexy we're on camera I can't say what I want to say but this is a sexy pedal sexy booty pedal so you're uh, you're using the flat bass stuff, right? The right? Flat stuff, yeah, okay. The okay. Um, and I actually have some flat bass stuff that has like, which I love, it has the boom extension. So it's amazing because you can fold it up like the regular flat bass, but then with the boom extension, you can mount anything you want. Like, so I mount effect cymbals or chimes. Like, I mean, they're amazing. And then living in New York City, you know, you got to take a cab or have a car service. So I can, you know, have five, six cymbals set up, 
and the bag is not that heavy for me. So that's why I really love Gibraltar stuff. Man. That's key. That's yeah. key. Because it's got you got to be able to transport stuff. I mean, I'm in you know my average week. I'm in sometimes two, three studio sessions, and then I'm at a club or at Vanguard or whatever. So I can't be wearing my back out. You know. So you got to be able to have a long career. So. So what kind of a simple setup do you have right now? Uh, huge. Just I have a seven-piece kit. A lot of symbols, so I have about 10 symbols, all stands. I love it. It's good. That's a lot of stuff to set up. Yeah, but Gibraltar works quick and easy, and so. But I gotta tell you what I'm really excited about. I was really excited when I came out to, up to, up to the command, and, and I saw the, uh, the, uh, the Cajon medal. I know so many people now that are playing in small, small bar, bar venues that don't, can't have a drum kit, and this is perfect. It's the perfect, perfect uh, situation. It sounds great. It sounds like a drum kit. It's quiet enough to play in a bar. It's out enough, out of the way enough. You could actually sit there as a customer and play the drum kit. You know? This guy, you think I know my stuff about Gibraltar, this guy knows just about as much about Gibraltar as I do. And um, <laughs> and we want to talk about his rack. Let's. How's it working out for you, man? At Hollywood Undead, we have three Gibraltar rack systems on stage. Uh, we have an acoustic drum system, and then we have a keyboard stand, uh, all designed from scratch. Uh, and then we have an e-drum setup, which is a stand-up uh, e-drum setup. So it's very tall. Uh, we're using uh, all the curved bars. Uh, for the set, a lot of 90 degree and uh, adjustable 90 degree clamps on them. Uh, but yeah, so many tours in, they, they look great. Uh, everything works perfectly, like a charm. What's your experience with using Gibraltar? Once we got the rack built, it's, it's seven minutes up, seven minutes down. Everyone in the band, in the audience, liked our curved rack so much you guys that now the front microphone stands are curved Gibraltar rack bars. Let's hear about your Gibraltar rack, man. How's it going? It's great. I mean, I couldn't do what I do without that rack. The way I have everything set up, it's just so convenient. It hasn't moved in two and a half years, and I haven't had to do anything to it in two and a half years because it's just so sturdy. It's amazing. The team comes to the show, all the musicians who come to the show uh, that are playing on the other the other stage, they all say, man, your rack is amazing. And I'm like, Brent, hook it up. Brent, you guys are so cool because every time I order something, like the next day it's on my doorstep, which is great for starters. But you allow me to spray paint it black, which I know you normally wouldn't want to do, but for my insane setup, it's all frozen in one position the way I like it, and it's black and it's rad. It's for me, it's durability. If you have stuff on the road and it breaks every two weeks, and you're in, you know, you're in Egypt playing a show, and oh, Brent, I need you to get me this and that. You know what I mean? Dude, I've like never had an issue with it because it's such a durable product. It's that at the end of the day, that's what it is for me. And durability also equals how great the product is. Right. I use a stealth rack and I use a side kit, and they're both awesome, man. I love the racks. The thing I like about about those two racks is they're small. You know. They, um, they don't take up a lot of real estate. Well, I needed something that was personalized for, me, for my setup that would be much easier, you know, for me or a tech to, you know, to set up so that everything's in place. You, you know, I want to be comfortable when I'm playing. So I've used it on American Idol. I did um, recently a Grammy tribute for Whitney Houston that I used it on. And when I play with Stevie Wonder, I also use it. Um, we just did the inauguration for the president recently. So, you know, I'm always using my, my rack just for any gig that I have. Okay, well that wraps up another NAM show. Um, I'm going to be spending the next week recovering from NAM Thrax. Those of you that have been here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, please leave a comment below and let us know what you think of the show. And remember to subscribe so you can always be the first to know as soon as we release another episode. Now, I got to get out of here because I got to go tear all this stuff down. So. Thanks for watching.